The very first thing you need to do when you're creating a centerpiece is to think about where the location is that you're going to be placing it, where, how it's going to be viewed, if it's going to be viewed from all angles or just one, and what size it needs to be. If you're putting it at a dining room table uh, and there's something that you're going to leave on the table all the time, even while you eat around the meal, you should try to think about it that the uh, shape of the height of it should not be any more than 15 inches because your average person can't see over top of it and it would block your view. Uh, you should also think about how wide your plates are because you're going to have 12 inches on either side for your place settings. So you have the width of your table minus two feet on either side. So that leaves us about a, uh, a foot uh, wide. Lengthwise depends on what size of the table. If you want to go with a smaller table and leave it there just for when nobody's at it and pick it off, then you can make it any size you want. If you're trying to keep it there so uh, you can have it while you're having f serving dinner, then you need to think about all the different place settings and, as well as the plates that would go on, on either side of it, candles and what have you. A good size for a centerpiece uh, is about 15 inches tall and maybe about 30 inches long. So the first thing you need to think about when you uh, start to design a uh, centerpiece is to think about the size of where it's going to go in your living room or dining room or what have you.